This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry, it was, um... I was preparing this for the exhibition and that, that thing plays, so... I don't know, you really want to see me fucking... I, I mean, there's not much left for me to do here, so... I guess we'll, uh, we'll show it up. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to XCOM. And, uh, today... I am a piece of shit for you. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I, I here's here's something interesting I just noted. Uh, I was gonna show you like when I fucking started, but um, we got uh, a 17 aim bonus here. So just to show you, it's seven. It's normally seven. If I put this off and I put on, oh wait, what the hell? 17. Oh, it does not stack. Oh no, it doesn't even show it. That's what happens. Yeah, it, 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 uh, but it, yeah, it, 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 it only shows when they're not like, they don't have it on. Which is interesting to note. Um, huh, okay. That's good to know. I, I figured that I'd like, I, I'd basically stack the fuck out of scopes with him. Uh, and I was bringing my, my strike rifle ban here with me. But I'm wondering if I even want to. Actually, he's gonna get Marksman Scope instead. He doesn't need this scope. So, okay, so here, here's what I did, or am doing. Um, I mean, I have never really showed this. Holy shit, the armor looks fucking nuts. I was gonna say, this armor looks cool as shit. Look at this. We, it's like fucking, po like, power armor or some shit. We get a lot of HP with this. Um, and the movement is basically 1 mobility, 5 HP, opposed to the attack vest. Uh, sorry, it's tech armor, which is one ability. We get we get three more HP out of this, um, which is really nice. And I'm giving that to all my like regular people. The person has to gotta go fast has like the sleeves again. And that's a phalanx armor, t plus three HP, plus two mobility, uh, and that one is uh, the equivalent of the tech vest in a way, except we mo lose one mobility. But he got he has a lot of armor out of that too, actually. So it's actually quite nice. So we got Rocketeer with the rocket, um, yeah, holy shit. I can't wait to see Doral's fucking aim. It's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, I also should make a hard save because I usually do that at the beginning of missions just in case something totally fucks up. This is something that you don't normally see. So you know, we can even pretend it's a new episode. I'll, I'll, I'll guide you through it. Um, uh, no, no, don't do it now. Okay, well, well what, here's what I do. I go, I look around, I'm like, okay, what's interesting on the map here? And I zoom in on it like this. Okay. And like, like I'm, let's say I'm gonna look at his butt, because that's like the funniest thing I could possibly see here. And so I go, hi guys, welcome back to X butt and, and shit like that. And today we're doing a mission like this. This is like, this episode is like behind the scenes. Excellent. We look forward to seeing you. So it's like behind the scenes of how much work it really doesn't take for me to make this. Well, it does. I'm addicted Strike though. One. Prepare for landing. It's 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 leisure to me, not not work. Exalt cell operating out of the UK. Strike one will need to ensure our operative has an opportunity to finish securing the intel. It's one of these intel missions, fucking again. But dude, we look fucking badass. Look at this shit. Dude, don't fuck with x -Gun. We're fucking here. God damn. Our field operative was detected by Exalt forces while in the process of mining some valuable intel from their comm relays. Strike One will need to protect the operative while they finish decrypting the Exalt data from the other relays. If the operative goes down, we'll lose any chance of recovering that intel. New this one looks really easy again. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna like head da down to this one, like here. Already there. Probably gonna trigger a bunch of them. N we triggered nobody, really? Okay, I I'm not pushing my luck yes, now. Hey, you hear anything? Boy. Boy. Boy, That's indeed. Dude, I am so excited now. This is gonna be really easy. Potentially. And so Doral can't do anything, so he's good as Hunker. 
All right, Overwatch tonight, very useful. And here we have another one. That is not good. Oh, he took cover over there. Cover my flank. They're on the move. These exhaust operatives appear to have undergone extensive genetic enhancement, suggesting exalt has access to meld as well as lab facilities on par with our own. However, I would never suggest we follow such an unrestrained approach to modifying the physiology of our own soldiers. All right. Uh, this should be super easy, actually, because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one right now. Our operative is near one of the Exalt Com relays, Commander. You just need to activate it to acquire the residual data. That Com relay is down, Commander. Our operative hacked the system and decrypted some of their data, while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays nearby. So we got a couple guys there. This is a good opportunity for my rocketeer to actually fire some rockets. Sorry, it's just kind of going nuts. All right, I'm gonna fire it like right here. It's gonna remove his cover, but they're, they need to reload anyways. Targeting system must be really? Now, damn it. Now. Uh, I don't know if we can come back from this now. Well, let's try and kill this guy. It's my, this guy. So, Adrenaline Surge, whoa. What is that? Uh, Yuna's wounded, triggering an Adrenaline Surge. Uh, I think that is giving him... He's got a scope on him, and his weapon, he gets like more crit or something from that. Uh, his little cover doesn't give him much. Gatling Laser. Hollow tar- well, I got hollow, hollow targeting though. Oh no, that's my Gatling Laser, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Alright, Exalt Com Hack. Uh, yeah, we know Disabling Shot. His weapon is disabled and currently have ammo. Adrenaline Surge confers 10 aim and 10 critical chance bonus. Damn. And you can throw grenades really far. That's, like, fucking tough. Alright. Where does my sniper want to shoot? Guess we'll shoot this one. With, with that precision shot, basically. Uh, this is the last person we have here. Moving. We're gonna move him out of the line here. He had an alien grenade on him, too. Jeez. Oh, thank God for Darrell's double tap. So they're going to have to reload here. The only problem for me is um, this guy is panicked, so. We're picking up hostile contacts moving on strike one, Commander. All right, we may have to try and defend uh, our good friend there. Thank you. We got one more rocket here. Try and take these ones out like this. Hmm. The exact same shot again. Gonna have to. Target locked. Try and get it this time. All right. Well, that's a that's okay. Yeah, that car's gonna explode too, which may uh, do well for me. All right. I think they're all supposed to have mayhem on him. Because this turn, he doesn't actually get anything. Uh, I can't actually tell if he's going to mayhem anything with that. Which kind of worries the hell out of me. This is not a good day. I'm gonna tell you that much. 
It was that one rocket that fucked us. Seventy-seven. Ah, oh, that's a nice chance to crit. All right. It's the only shot you got. It's not good enough. We may have to accept here that this guy is probably gonna get flanked. Got He's got- we've got some HP, so I think we'll be okay. Wow, really? Okay, I'll try and kill that guy. No. Oh, wait, the car blew up. Great. Not the best of uh, plans I had there. As long as I make it to the terminal, uh, it should be okay. I forgot that car was on fire. It was that fucking rocket that missed. Ah, oh, come on! Don't kill! Don't kill that guy. It's a it's a mission failure if if uh, he dies. Yeah, that's the end. All right. Strike one can remain in the area and I'm gonna reload remaining exalt forces or they can head to the evac zone. It's your call We have a new objective He, he was pretty much dead when he panicked let's be honest like the mission completely was over at that point Alright, well, let's try and go back here. There's very little room for error on these missions, as I said. It's like, this is kind of re the reason I don't like Rocketeers. So, we're back over here. Uh, and so, we know we can go here and do this. There's like very, very little room for error, and I, I, I don't like that. You just need to activate it to acquire the residual data. That comm relay is down, Commander. Our operative hacked the system and decrypted some of their data, while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays nearby. The sound is going to be much further away, because the minute he panicked, it was like, what was I supposed to do at that point, you know? That's that's why I really hate the, the frequency of the panicking, but things like the officers are what you're supposed to be getting to alleviate that, you know? We're going to fire a rocket around them. What the fuck just happened? He almost fucked us again, I think. Somehow. Alright, let's try and get this guy again. I like this guy. Adrenaline surge. Yeah. Because the rocket actually hit, I was able to do that this time. Let's get rid of this guy because I don't like his alien grenade. Also, I want to give some levels to my scout here. Alright, they have to all reload now. This pleases me, trust me. See, the, the whole thing with the rocket missing, though... I don't know if I'd just call that bullshit. I, I wouldn't actually call it that necessarily. It's just... It's part of the disadvantage of having a rocketeer. They're just not reliable. It's why it's like, you know, I, I, I really... I'm going between kind of the... Um, the rocketeer and... Uh, engineer for effectiveness, because I really... I don't know. I don't know which one I like better to have my explosives, you know. We're going to get, Commander. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point for extraction. We have a new objective. All right, we're going to spread these people out just a little bit. Well, actually, let's see. Let's get it. Let's get another nice rocket off like this. I said knock it, didn't I? Suck on this. <laughs> good, good mess.
Because the, the, the way I figure it, so I don't have double tap right now. Um, but we get a crazy amount of fucking platform stability and scope bonuses. Holy shit. All right, we're going to move him over over here. Because next turn, I'm going to basically fire twice. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Cause they, they can't they can't shoot during this turn anyways. I figure 50 70. All right, go ahead. Try that one. Ow. I figure it's a good opportunity for people to get, try and get some shots and kills. Uh, continue mission. I mean, might as well while they have to reload. Like your position there. And this is how the mission would have gone if fucking I, I didn't get my guy panicked. Because <laughs> I panic way too way too easily. But as I said, Rocketeers, man. Rocketeers probably I could have chosen better with a person for this kind of mission where we need to get in and get out. But I figured the Rocketeer would be good as like a, when they group up kind of a thing. But even then, I don't think it does enough damage to organics. I mean, I use it against robots a lot, and that's probably their best use, I would say. I don't know. I have to. I think I gotta play more with the engineers and, and see what I like. On the move. All right, get out of here. A covert operative along with the new data at the extraction point. Strike one can either head to the evac zone to return to HQ now, or stay and secure the area from any remaining hostiles. Objectives updated. I'm just doing this to get kills. I'm going. I'm going on to the point here, and just getting a kill. Basically, that's all we're doing. Because this is like free experience right here. <laughs> nice, nice job with your laser rifle. I love that glitch. Adios. This is still counts inside of it, right? Just in case, I'm not gonna risk that. I don't know if that's actually inside of it. Uh, you can maybe take a shot at one of those guys. Wow, really? Well. That's has some serious damage fall off. Whoa, 15% you got that, but you missed all those other shots earlier? Alright, we're leaving. There you go, some some easy kills, and uh, that's what I figure we'll do. And uh, and we're, I'm still a bit sour about the fact that the first time that went bad. Yeah. Whatever. Our troops are making it look easy out there. Let's hope they don't get too cocky. Safe's coming. Ooh, okay, here we got some stuff. Uh, we have uh, one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. That's a no. Uh, primary weapons receive one additional shot or burst before re reload is required and reload your, uh, uh, you, you may reload your weapon as a, um, uh, your first action of the turn without ending turn. Okay, uh, I need to explain this one a little bit because uh, for the sniper, it's a bit different. Um, you're thinking, oh, I can reload and then shoot. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, because reload counts as a costly action. Um, it counts as a one turn thing. It means, like, you know how lock and load works in the inventory. You can reload and overwatch. Those are two actions. Um, what what the sniper is, is it's basically an, act, uh, an action that takes two of the bars. That's why you have to move them into position, then you fire, kind of a thing. Um, so something like the uh, snapshot would actually make that so that I could fire and uh, I could reload and fire. Snapshot would enable me to do that. Obviously, you can see by this, this tree here that I didn't do that. I didn't get Snapshot. Um, so, the, all this would do is allow me to uh, reload and move, and also I'd get one more shot in my sniper rifles. Um, you know, if this were the only two options, I would say, yeah, sure, I'd go for it, even though I didn't, wouldn't be making much use of the, the, the skill there. However, we do have this, Vital Point Targeting. Confers two damage bonus with primary guns and plus one damage with sidearms against humans and alien targets whose species have been autopsied. Well, now we have kind of a reason to do autopsying. Um, so this is a really nice uh, uh, skill right here. So we'll, we'll do this one. It's going to require another thousand points to level up. All right, Darwal leveled up. Ooh, nice. And he's going to get more da more uh, damage on critical hits for every enemy you can see. 
Uh, he can get damage reduction if in cover and not flanked. Or uh, bonus armor hit points based upon what kind of armor he has equipped. Uh, heavier armor increases the bonus. It's a tough one. It's a it's one it's one of these basically. Uh, and so basically, will to survive is good against lots of little hits. Extra conditioning is good if he's in the back, and I want to protect him against big hits. Uh, given that he's he's doing LMG, uh, extra conditioning I think is what the is the best thing for him. And I'm sorry if you disagree. Um, I don't I don't know how many people know much about this. I mean, we get some wheel, but we also get some aim here. Uh, so and mobility. Look at that. So I, I like the stat bonuses mostly on this one actually. So I think it was the better choice because he's going to be mostly in the back, um, and so. When he gets hit, I just want him to absorb as much of it as humanly possible, rather than all these little hits, kind of a thing. And we have our last upgrade here. This is our scout sniper. Uh, and we're gonna do Lone Wolf on him, because he's a scout sniper. I still like the playstyle, it's fun. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. Cool. And Thin Man Ops Ops say. Oh, we have, a. Uh, oh, we have actually, um, the ability to build... I think now... Oh, we can make the satellite nexus. That's one thing. How, how many days is that going to take? I'm just curious. 21 days. All right. Uh, we're not doing it this month. I'm pretty pretty certain. But we will build the alien containment now. So we're finally doing this project. Uh, and with that, we're going to make one arc thrower. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. And we can also make an arc rifle. Look at this one. So it can arc, it can load low damage and but can disable alien weaponry, allowing our soldier can to assist in alien captures. So look at that. That's like one to three damage. It's kind of neat. It only has two ammo though. Operates at unlimited range for soldiers with squad sight perk. That's kind of interesting. Because what you could do, you could do like there's a lot of opportunities for some. Uh, it's usable by scouts. Uh, sorry, snipers, scouts, infantry, assault, medics, and engineers. So it's um, basically anyone who's not like a rocketeer or a gunner can use this. Uh, and like I can think of some interesting playstyles. Like you play with a scout, and then you have this as a primary, and uh, uh, what what is it? The, um, the sawed off shotgun the as a secondary. To the research labs. So you know, we're, we are going to make one of them just because I want to try it. I think it's it looks kind of cool. It's different, you know. And so I'll give my I'll give that person a sawed-off shotgun as well. I probably should make one more uh, carapace armor, although I am making a kestrel armor as well as the phal. Uh, I already have one of the phalanx. Actually, wait, I think it's already coming out, or maybe not. No, yeah, I was making a kestrel armor, wasn't I? Click to edit. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Oh well. Research labs. All right, we got a chem grade and improved medkit. Project available at the foundry. Nice. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Uh, let's do. Uh, we don't have enough mutant corpses for this. We need one more. Uh, the question is, should I just finish the rest of these? These are like really quick. Oh man, these are so fast. Yeah, we're gonna just. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. I mean, at this point, we already have a sniper that can do more damage to these kind of kinds of people. So, uh, let's keep spinning the globe, then. Uh, 15 Illyrium for two engineers. Oh, yes. But I need to get another lab, then. Oh, they want to sell meld for that too. I kind of need the, at this point the meld is more important, but we'll we'll do this. So, here's the, the thing. Engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I really want to start this, but we'll give it a little bit. Or let's see, let's see if I have anything broken to sell. Um Yeah, I don't think we do. Because UFO flight computers, the surgery especially, like when it, if it doesn't have the green thing telling me I'm done with it, uh, then I can't do it. Um, and I'd have to sell way too many corpses of things. And I don't, I think the corpses will still be important to me, so we're gonna wait. As much, uh, like a workshop would be really valuable to me. 
All right, and drones are complete. We can get Shiv Repair Project and Hollow Targeter. Holy shit. That's kind of neat. And Shiv Repair. We can upgrade the Arc Throwers with the drone's repair ability, allowing our soldiers to repair Shiv units in combat. Haha! -ha. <laughs> that would be great. All right, and... Uh, We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Now, the autopsies, there's no point in waiting because there's no South American bonus, so I'm just kind of getting them all done. Who cares? But, you know, doing more damage is, is not a bad thing. Command, all right. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Well, we got some light alien activity in Egypt, so uh, let's get ready to go there, except that will be for next time. So remember, we will be watching. Take care.